Most of the protests over the death of George Floyd in Durham have been peaceful, but there were some scary moments last night when a car nearly hit a group of people lying down in protest. CBS 17's Crystal Price is live in Durham, where there is more protesting expected tonight. Crystal. Yes, there is a vigil underway here right now. If you'll take a look, there are hundreds of people here at CCB Plaza. This was organized by youth in our community. They are all here in solidarity, calling for justice and calling for peace. But after last night, some are concerned about their safety. You'll remember last night, hundreds of people were lying down on Main Street in protest, where despite a safety perimeter that was set up by police, a car was still able to get through and nearly hit the protesters. Now, thankfully, those protesters were able to jump jump in time and stop the car. The organizers of the Stop Killing Us protest got back with me late today and said this could have been fatal had it not been for an observant protester. They say they deserve a valid explanation. Now, Chief Davis says the car must have come from an arterial road that was not blocked off. She said last night their resources were thin because there were multiple protests happening in different parts of the city. She's asking protesters to keep police better informed or where of where they will be so they can make sure they block off all necessary roads. It's about, I would say, like six to seven minutes in, there was just a car full speed coming at us, so everyone jumps up and scatters. We're expecting protesters tonight, too, and it is our intent to allow people to peacefully protest without those types of incidents from happening. <laughs> Now, people say they are looking for the individual who was driving that vehicle. No word on, with, on if they will face charges. Now, back out here live, that vigil continues as dozens of people are hoping for another peaceful protest tonight. Reporting live in Durham, Crystal Price, CBS 17 News.